Hi, everybody. It is uh, the Monday morning after. The Pittsburgh Steelers and Green Bay Packers have played the Super Bowl. The Packers are the world champs. We're going to talk about that game. Jim Feist is here. I'm Dave Koken. We'll also look at a good game tonight between Phoenix and Golden State in the NBA. We'll tell you about a couple of outstanding offers that we've got uh, in basketball right now because now is when you're going to want to focus on the basketball. And we'll, we'll talk about that, but let's first clean up uh, our thoughts from yesterday. And, uh, well, you know what it came down to? Uh, one team made a lot of mistakes in yesterday's yeah. football game that cost them. The other team's mistakes were drop passes, but it t- turned out not to cost them. Aaron Rodgers was great for Green Bay. And Roethlisberger didn't have his best game for Pittsburgh. And uh, to those three Steeler turnovers, they turned out to be the big difference in the game, Jim. Well, you're right, Dave. If you look at every statistic for the game, it looks like Pittsburgh won, except when you get down to the, the line that says turnovers. And Pittsburgh had three and Green Bay had none. Now, you mentioned drop passes. That doesn't show up in the stats. There's no statistic for drop passes. Maybe there should be. Uh, but Green Bay has been dropping passes all year long. Their wide receivers are very good at getting open. They're not always real good at hanging on to the ball. And they got they got five guys that can really catch the ball, and, the, and, they, and Rodgers does a great job, fabulous job, getting the ball to them. But many t- I mean, if they caught every pass yesterday, that game would have been a 30-point win. But Pittsburgh doesn't turn the ball over like that either. So it's kind of a, you know, Pittsburgh did something that was out of character by th- turning the ball over. Ben had a rating of 77 in the game, and Rodgers was 111. So there's a big difference there. Rodgers definitely is, is the hot quarterback, and that's why the public fell in love with him, because they won every game on the road and then a neutral site yesterday. The right team won. I lost with Pittsburgh. I took the three. I had it tied at least late. Nice comeback. And I also had the over. So I was real happy about the over. There's a lot of under money in the game. A lot of people, you know, like Green Bay and under. And I, I just couldn't see that. I liked, I liked the over. So I got that right. But it's on to a new season, I hope, that we have a new season. We have this lockout pending, which is the billionaires and the millionaires battling and squabbling. And I guess as we talked earlier, Dave, the contention is all the, the problem is the owners want to give less to the players because their costs keep going up and their bottom line shrinks because you know if you're paying for a, a quarter for a loaf of bread and then you have to pay a half a buck well your bottom line out of your income is definitely going to be changed and the players keep getting the same percentage off the revenue not off the profits they get it off the revenue, so they're coming off the top line. Well, the bottom line always go, goes down because those expenses go up every year, and that's the way it's always been. Uh, we've got world crisis out there. We've got people unemployed. We've got people losing their homes, losing their jobs. You've got $200,000 engineers working at Wendy's for 5 bucks an hour. I mean, you've got a lot of stuff going on out there, and we have to – let's look at the big picture, folks. The people that support your league – are these people that are suffering in America right now? The world is suffering. We got this financial shit situation to overcome, and who knows how long that's going to take. Uh, but uh, let's get it together. Let's play football. If we have a lockout, and if we have a summer full of talk about the, these billionaires and the millions, I'm personally sick of it already. Now, get, come down to about June or July, and you don't know if you have a season. I'm going to be pretty pissed off. And I think a lot of the fans are going to be pretty pissed off. So let's get it together. I'll give you my take on it. Um, I don't really care which side comes out on top. It doesn't affect me from that standpoint. Obviously, if there's no football, it, it impacts me. Uh, but one thing like my life experience has taught me is that uh, it's all about who's got the power. That's who wins. And uh, in the real world, millionaires have power. Billionaires have more power. <laughs> They're going to win, and they also have one other ace in the hole that the players don't have. I'm not sure how many people are aware of this, but if there's no football next year, the NFL owners still get their money from the TV networks. That's in their contract. Uh, if there's no football, they still get paid. That, to me, puts the owners in a very powerful position. Uh, I think the players will have to get the best deal they can get. This, you know, uh, sadly for them. Their union has never been on a par in terms of bargaining power with that of the MLBPA and the NBA Players Association. They're better unions. Uh, the NFL union was, you know, I never, I never thought Upshaw was a great rep for them, and I think they're still going to have to pay for 
if you want to call it as misdeeds, uh, that's your opinion. But uh, I, I think the owners will win this struggle, and the players will have to cave in and and settle uh, for what they're going to get, which is still going to be pretty good, by the way. Uh, I think if the players can avoid going an 18-game schedule, which I would agree with, by the way, uh, that's a victory, and, and they'll have to settle for that. But, look, bottom line is, it's a great sport. We saw proof of that yesterday. Monster ratings. Uh, terrific football game. Very exciting. And hopefully we'll be uh, kicking off a, another good preseason uh, in August uh, and going on with the regular season as if nothing had happened. That's that's my hope. In the meantime, we got basketball. And we're moving well, into the best, best time of year for basketball, Jim. Let's cover that good game from yesterday. We didn't say much about it, Dave. I mean, the... Uh, um well, actually, we did. Sorry, <laughs> you did win. I didn't win. I had, like I said, I did at Pittsburgh. But I think we probably covered enough. We're running out of time. You're right. Let's talk about this basketball game. We got Phoenix. We're talking about where people are going to make money, and the football season's over now. So let's get to where we can make money. That's college basketball and the NBA. Well, see, that's what happens. We talk about making money. Let me tell you about making money. Um, it's time to focus on basketball. This is the time of year. To really focus and get down to it. What do we got? About six weeks left of college basketball. We got the pros that'll go on several months yet. <laughs> but it start, you can start the week off with three days of executive and inner circle basketball, including tonight's total of the month for just five bucks. That's right. Five dollars. One five dollar investment equals three days of winners. You don't want to miss out on this. You know, I bet real money on these games. Now that, that doesn't mean anything to you except that I win more than I lose. And I think if you do this, you will win more than you lose and you want to get involved. For five dollars, this is an intro price, obviously. I want you to get on board. I want you to win. I want you to get the feeling of having winners at the end of the week so you collect and not pay. Make the phone call. 1-866-841-1655. 1-866-841-1655. And if you want free winners sent to you each and every day to your cell phone, I know you have a cell phone, just text WINNER, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131, and we'll send you free plays each day to your cell phone. So make sure you get involved with both of these. $5 investment, three days of winners, 1-866-841-1655. Well, here's what I got in the... Uh, yeah. Uh, fortunately, I'm I'm on one of those tears right now. I get on these every once in a while, and uh, it's been fun. I swept the board. I had a real good week last week. I mean, really good. And over the weekend, I swept the board on Friday at three personal service plays, won them all. Saturday, college basketball, I had six plays that I really liked, six top plays. And depending on your line of the LSU game, that's either a push or a win. All the rest of them won. So that's either 6-0 and or 5-0-1. and Yesterday, I had three sides that I liked. I liked the Packers in the football game, the Pacers in the NBA, and I had the Wisconsin in college basketball. Not going to get many easier winners than, than that bunch. Uh, the, the football game was tough. The, the two basketball games were really easy. I love this time of year because it's the rematches in college conference action. And my stuff really kicks in. I have some angles that I play in the second half of the season. They win big every year. They're on fire right now. So here's the offer. Works out to about, actually works out to less than two dollars a day, which is uh, you're going to be betting more than that certainly. You get all my action plays in the NBA in college basketball from now through the end of the conference tournaments. That's March 16th, I believe, and today it's you know February 7th, February 8th, whatever it is. So you're going to get. Uh, that's like five weeks, five full weeks for $79. Works out to about two bucks a day. This is for those of you who want to make money. I mean, if, if you want to, uh, if you're doing fine on your own, legitimately, terrific. Keep on doing what you're doing. But chances are you're not, because that's the reality of the world. I, I get percentage breakdowns in every game, so I know that most people are losing money in basketball. They want to, you want to delude yourself into thinking you're doing great, that's fine, but it's more fun if you're actually picking up money on a weekly basis. one 841 1665 Make the call. Spend 79 bucks. You'll have that back in a couple of days, even if you're a small better. If you're a big better, uh, you'll have it back in about a half an hour, basically. one 841 1665 Spend 79 bucks. 
and enjoy winning between now and the end of the conference tournaments. All right, tonight, Phoenix, Golden State. This one figures to be a, a game where there's, well, reasonably quick tempo, I would think. <laughs> uh, the Suns like to push the ball. The Warriors like to push the ball. I like it when these teams hook up. You usually see a pretty good basketball game. The Suns are, yeah, I got to tell you, Alvin Gentry, he won't get any votes for Coach of the Year. He should. He should. They are not a good basketball team on paper. They're old. They really don't have a, a lot no. of skilled play. I mean, this is a, this is not a good Phoenix basketball team, and yet there they are, hanging around 500. I think Gentry's done an awesome job with this team, but I also think this team could fade down the stretch because they got some tired legs on this squad, and the backups are not producing like they did a year ago. And they had an excellent bench that kept on winning second quarters. Uh, and that's not happening this year. I think the Warriors may be able to simply outrun Phoenix tonight. I like Golden State this game, Jim. You know, it's in- interesting you mentioned about, I mean, the top three players for, for the top, some of the top three players for Phoenix are in their mid to late 30s. I mean, you know, this is a grinding long season, and you're right. You got Nash, you got uh, Carter, you got Hill, 37, 33, 38 years old. I mean, that's, that's getting up there, and you got these kids running around out there. It's, it's tough when you get into an 80, you know, some, some game season like that, and then try to get to the playoffs. I mean, they've done well. I mean, they're straight up 23, 25, not that terrible. No. 20 and 26 against the spread. They, these are two of uh, the, the more up tempo teams in the in the league, there's no question about it. Golden State coming off that big win, 101-90, as a three and a half point dog to the Bulls, was probably their best win of the season. At least that's the way the players feel. Now they played some defense in that game, and uh, maybe that's why the line has shifted a little bit. The line opened 221, it's down to 219. Uh, it's you know are they going to play defense again like that? Are they going to be able to be successful to that uh, on two games in a row? I don't think so. I, I would lean to the over in this spot, especially since we're getting a little bit of a lean on the on the on the the total. I mean, the odds maker made it two twenty one, and we're going to probably be able to go over two nineteen, maybe less. Who knows later in the day? But I'm going to lean to the over in the game. Should be a good game. We do have a big play on this game, by the way, on the service. So. I mentioned my offer earlier, and you want to get involved. You're going to make some money on this game and several others as well. And the same here. I I do not have a big play in this game. In fact, I don't have any play in this game. But I got one really big play. I mean, really big in college basketball tonight. So if you want to find out about it, take advantage of these offers. Uh, They're good offers. They're not going to cost you a lot of money. And uh, I think you're going to be really happy with the results. If you can't make money this time of the year in basketball, well, uh, then you probably shouldn't be involved in betting sports. It's, it's that simple. <laughs> All right, we'll do this again tomorrow. Uh, so make sure and check back every day, uh, ProLineTV.com. Our weekend shows a little longer. Usually we've got the whole group here, and we'll go through a, a, a larger group of games, but hopefully we'll keep on getting you good information on a daily basis. And don't forget to check the website for all the stats and inside info that you want as far as putting together good numbers for yourself in these games. Jim, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, Dave, have a good day. See you later, everybody.